the Italian boy in this film was has an invisible friend. The Italian boy that the Americans discover has an invisible friend that he talks to. And in the book, as a writer, you can create this invisible friend and the reader can see the invisible friend and they, the reader can see what the Italian boy is talking to while the black soldiers who have this boy can't see it and neither can the Italian villagers. Nobody can see who this kid is talking to other than the kid. When Spike read, went, did the initial read through to the book, he said, we got to get rid of the invisible friend. And I said, well, I don't know. I mean, you know. And, and Spike's response was, you know, how am I going to show an invisible person? I'm a filmmaker. So I said, well, you know, maybe we could show him like Elijah Muhammad in Malcolm X where he floats <laughs> <on>. <laughs> and he's blue, you know. <laughs> and uh, Spike was like, that's not going to work. So we had a long discussion about it, and I wrote Spike a long letter, like two or three page letter, and I sent it to him. And his response was, a one-line response was, you make a good argument, we'll keep the kid. He agreed to keep the kid for a $45 million production for which he had not yet raised all the money. He agreed to keep the kid not knowing how he was going to show the kid. Um, I thought that was a brave decision on your part. Um, well, we just had to figure out a way to do it. I don't want to, I mean, you also suggested, like, uh, the, the Peter Pan... Tinkerbell have like a little bell right. <laughs> every time we that that we can't do or some pixie dust or something. <laughs> can't do that. But we found a way. Well, if when you see the film you'll see that what happens is the kid talks and Spike just moves the camera to and I'll talk about this in a minute, the hundreds of decisions that a director like Spike has to make based on a screenplay that just is more, more or less a blueprint. But what he does is he just pans to a corner and the kid talks and you think there must be something there. And then f finally, at the very end of the film, he shows the kid. You actually see the invisible friend. And then you see the invisible friend vanish. It's just a wonderful piece of filmmaking. A really, really clever way of dealing with the problem of invisibility, uh, which was a symbolic element in the book that, that harkens to, harks back to Ralph Ellison and the Invisible Man and people who were poor and black and on, you know, people who don't have power feeling invisible. Spike managed to make that 